So it isn't problematic. There's no question whether change itself changes or whether the constancy of change is a permanent principle. This is how we human beings look at the world when we become Buddhist. That's our vision. Everything's constantly changing. Is everything constantly changing for Christians who go to heaven? I don't know. Subtle uh, teaching, and we probably aren't going to be able to go into it in great depth, but I end up erasing this and putting it back. Um, the Atman is the concept, the pre-Buddhist concept in India. The Atman is the soul. Um, it is non-physical, it is permanent, unchanging. Yours is yours, mine is mine, and never the twain shall meet. It doesn't exist. Uh, are we sure of that? Absolutely. Why are we absolutely sure of that? This is how we view the world. <laughs> Good luck to them. Buddhists don't have one. And uh, it's not a problem because uh, although the Atman, the Atman or soul was denied by Shakyamuni Buddha and all the great teachers of Buddhist tradition for 25 centuries, we never denied that there is a self. Um, this obviously opens a big uh, conceptual problem or, or philosophical problem. Who, what is the self? Who are you? Who am I? Uh, and we haven't tried to resolve it. The important thing for us is you're not some non-physical uh, essence of your subjectivity which is somehow different from your body. There's a rejection of the mind-body dualism from the outset of our tradition. We're not going to look at it like that. First millennium, swimming around, eating things. Second millennium, sharks, swimming around, eating things. Kind of a dismissing the idea of a millennium. Um, but for us,